Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you run two really important business performance reports. Now in this reports tab in Zero, I've already favorited three reports here. And what I mean by that is I've put a star next to them, which means they pop up in my automatic reports list here. But to get to this main all reports tab here, all you do is go reports and then click on all reports and it brings you into this screen. Then you can simply click on the report you want. So for today, we're going to click profit and loss. And you can see here with this profit and loss report, what we've done is we've showed a date range from 1 July 14 to 30 June 15. So that's obviously the whole financial year. We've clicked update and then it's brought us this report. So what does this show us? Well, as a business owner, you really need to be looking at your profit and loss regularly. So this is going to tell you what are your sales and what are your expenses and what's left over. So for example, this demo business here has only made just under $4,000 in sales. They've had about $2,000 in expenses, which has left them with a profit of about $1,800. Now, small businesses don't look at their accounts enough. It's very important as an owner to genuinely come into zero and check this report and make sure your business performance is strong. And the profit and loss is one of the most straightforward ways to do that. You can easily see where your net profit is and you can see what your total sales are and you can compare that to previous periods. So another feature you can do is you compare this period. So we're looking at a full year. You can compare that to the previous year and you compare that maybe to two previous years prior to that and then you can click update. So what that will now do is that will show, well, we made this in the 15 year, what was the year before and then two more years prior to that. So if we have a look here on our report, there we go. You can see we've done the 15 financial year compared to the 30 June 14, compared to the 30 June 13. This is probably not the greatest example because there's no information for the two previous years but you get the picture that you can compare a month or a year with several periods. And that's a good way for you to check how's this month going in comparison to the previous month compared to three previous months. The other thing you can do is this filter by region. So if you're doing job costing or region costing and say you might have several jobs that we're tracking for you, you can click all regions or we might have that this is filter by job click update and then that'll split your profit between different regions. Now, not all clients use this region function, but some do, specifically if they're interested in what they're making on certain jobs. So here we go, we've now split that profit into south and an unassigned region. So you can see the concept there, what our costs are between two different divisions. This is really good, for example, if you have a store you have one company with multiple stores within that company. You can you can split the two different stores within the same zero file within the same trading entity, but still get a good profit report on that. And that's done by the filter by region. So that's a bit of a summary on the profit and loss. The second thing I want to show you is this thing called budget, actual versus budget, and it's under the compare format section. Now, if we've worked with you and created a budget for your business, we can import that budget and then we have on the right here your year-to-date budget which is what we're aiming for and then on the left here you've got actually what you've achieved and then on the right here you've got some really good numbers so for example you can see your under budget by about 18,000 there which is a 31% drop purchases you're also you're up on that so that's a negative and basically green is positive negative is red so it's really visual you can scroll down there and you can see where you're heading and as a management tool budgeting and comparing that to actual in zero is one of the strongest methods for seeing how your business is tracking it gives you goalposts to work towards and it tracks your measurement to that goalpost so that's the budget versus actual function moving along now to the balance sheet now the balance sheet for a lot of people that aren't accountants can be quite confusing but if we just break it down into a couple of simple steps, you've got assets, which are obviously something of value to the business. You'll have your bank accounts at the top here. These are in negative at the moment. You'll have who owes you money and you'll have some fixed assets, no doubt. Your total assets will be listed here. 
And then you have liabilities, which are clearly who you owe money to. So we'll have GST liability, we'll have some accounts payable, and we'll have some pay, pay as you go on wages. So for this particular example, the difference between our assets or the positive side of the business and our liabilities who we owe is a negative. So negative net assets is not a good thing. It's showing that you're actually in a negative position. So what we're really looking for is for positive net asset position. So this is something that I can't be in explain to you as a customer over time how to read this report and it's very effective tool to capture the total accumulated position of your business and you can see here you've got current year earnings and you've got retained earnings there so we'll go further into detail on the balance sheet but that's effectively how to look at your profit and loss and your balance sheet reports in zero and as we can see there's a number of other reports here that we have access to but for today i want to just focus on the two important reports which is your profit and loss and your balance sheet and like i said i would regularly look at your profit and loss at least once a month i like to take it at least once a week to see where you're tracking but that depends on your priority of this figure but again very valuable report and because we get, provide a high level of service and we make sure your accounts are up to date why not see exactly where your business is positioned? So thank you guys. That's how you review your profit and loss and balance sheet reports in zero. We'll chat with you shortly.